What do the Lakers have to do to beat the Nuggets? It's got to be a masterpiece on the defensive end. You make Nikola Jokic a scorer, and you eliminate his opportunities to facilitate, which means you got to stay attached to the other four guys. You have to be completely locked in. You're going to have to out-rebound, no foul trouble, and you've got to play physical top to bottom, extending all the way out to the guys coming off the bench. Well, those sound like a lot of ifs, but for what it's worth, our buddy Stephen A. yesterday on First Take says he likes the Lakers' chances. You waving bye-bye to them. A lot of people are waving bye-bye to them because they get ready to go up against the reigning defending NBA champions. That should it be the case. They waxed your ass eight straight. What you going to do about it? Last time I checked, LeBron, AD, D. Russ, Reeves, Hachimura, and these boys are fully capable of doing it. Fully capable of doing it, says Stephen A. Well, that is music to the ears of the biggest <laughs> Laker fan we have here. D. Wood, I'm giving you the floor. I'm giving you my whole basketball squad today. Break it down for me. How do the Lakers get this thing done? Uh, listen, a lot of what Monica said is, is absolutely true. I think, you know, Jokic is going to get his. Mm -hmm. But it's all about the, the, the auxiliary piece around them. Like, we got to minimize the damage by those guys. You're not stopping Jokic. I don't care if you throw AD. It doesn't matter who you throw him. He's going to get his. But I need the I need uh, 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 auxiliary pieces, you know, the 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 Rui. I need those guys to go off. Austin Reed, those guys got to step it up. Because remember last year in the in the playoffs when they got swept, that was only a 24 point margin, like mm -hmm. for all four games. So it's not like the Lakers are getting blown out. Mm -hmm. It's just you got to find some way somehow to make up in no in just the little things defensively. Whether it's scoring, it's got to be the little things that got to take you over he the would. top. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. No, whoa, hold on, hold on. Hey, oh, oh. I'm just, listen, oh, it was, it was a competitive swing. Wait, 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 Here's my thing. I'm not one of these super homers out here. I'm still picking the Nuggets, but I'm saying let's let's not disrespect the Lakers like we don't have a shot here. The We're not only, doing that. But don't, not talk, doing but don't that talk to now. me about all the others. The it others. Is. No, this is about Anthony Davis. Let's stop telling LeBron that he has to carry this team, and then we talk about how LeBron looks tired. That's got to stop. Anthony Davis this year played the most games, 76 games. He finally played a lot of games, and he played really well. Well, guess what? This is your monster, Nikola Jokic. You were once one of the best centers in the game. This is your matchup. This is your series. You want to reestablish yourself as one of the best centers in the game? Right now, right here, do it for your team. And don't make this about LeBron, and he couldn't. Do what you can, and that's dominate this series. Listen, there's no reason why Anthony Davis can't go at Jokic and, and give him 25, Thank 26, 28 a night. That's what it's going to take to, to put them in position late in the game where now you've been a great closing team all year. You've got a shot. Anthony Davis can't have one of these series. Yep. He's got to be – he's not going to stop you, I, but you can give him 28, 30. Thank you. I, right. Listen, I'm not, I'm not disputing any of that. Yeah. While you're talking about 25, 28, Jokic's giving you 40-point triple-doubles. My whole thing is, like – it doesn't matter who you're throwing at Jokic. Correct. Like, Jokic is still going to get his. I need to minimize, you know, Jamal everybody Murray's else. and all Aaron, everybody else. Aaron, like, Aaron, I, need Aaron, I love the enthusiasm. Okay. Let me ask a question. Because Hembo, who is a vile human being, but he does know something. <laughs> I second about, that. We'll tell you, hey. we'll tell you, and we do this on the radio, that these Nuggets are not as good as they were a year ago. That the Nuggets, you look at all of their advanced metrics, all that kind of stuff. I test, had a chance to wrap up the one seat on Sunday, couldn't get it done. Still maybe the best team in the West, but not as good as they were a year ago. To, to D. Wood's point, I was at all four of those games. They were all close. Are, is, are these Nuggets as good as they were a year ago? Uh, no, because the West is better than it was a year ago. Okay. Right? Good and point. so I think if, when you have that conversation, you can't just decide to isolate that the Nuggets Great have point. not made improve or are right. not better. Are the Lakers better than they were a year ago? Because I me. would argue no. I nope. don't think so. Okay. Well, then that doesn't get them any closer to Correct. beating the Nuggets. And so I think Woody is absolutely right. I understand the passion, but like – this was the closest sweep we've ever talked about. They lost. Like, can, I, can I follow up what you just said go. about the Nuggets not being as good? Yeah. No team traditionally. Go, go back in history. When a team finally wins that first title, very few teams are in the regular season the next year because your foot's not on the gas to the extent that it was trying to get across the finish line. Right. Watch what's about to happen in the postseason. We saw then compare. You know, we then compare to what the Nuggets did in the postseason a year ago because I think you're about to see precision. Just we, like you did a year ago. And we saw the first shift after All-Star. Like, yes, we right. saw the, fir the first rev up. All right, great now it's point. playoff times. It goes up again. And so, yeah. I just I, – there's I think that this will be a compelling series. Yeah. I'm not I, picking against the Nuggets. I, I, I give, I give I just, a game and a half. 
Give them a game and a half. What you got? What are you talking about? Yeah. Meaning they'll have a lead at halftime half of one of the other games? <laughs> game five, they'll be up at halftime. <laughs> if, if I gave you the over-under, I, I believe the, the way the odds, Hembo was showing it to me the other day, and I don't fully understand how they calculate this, but basically the over-under on this series is five and a half. I give to Anthony Davis, I'm going to give him the respect that, that sometimes we don't give him enough of. He played this year. He showed up yep. every night. He didn't he did. get, he wasn't out for weeks with, with minor injuries. Mm -hmm. He played every night. He's been dominant. He's a force of bonus. Because of that, I'm going to say they win two yeah. games. Yeah. I'm, I, I I'm going to say this, man. Like, first of all, the level of disrespect. Okay, is just, <laughs> what disrespect? I'm, getting, I'm, getting, getting, I'm just getting you set up with number one. Number, number two, this is not the Eastern Conference where it's the Celtics and everybody else. Like, we, I've literally heard all of you guys talk about the, the West from, like, one to nine. D Wood. It's like it's anybody's game, do basically. You do you remember the last time the Lakers beat the Nuggets? Aaron Rodgers wasn't a Jet. <laughs> like, think about how long ago <laughs> that is. That hold on, hold on, Woody. I'm, hold on. You're right about this, but I'm going to say this. All year, and everybody knows I'm high on Dallas right now, Okay. I think that's the one team that can maybe challenge him. All year, though, every sentence I said about the West, when I talk about great is, always starts with, as long as you can avoid Denver. Mm -hmm. <laughs>